everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica of Bahati Life Apothecary. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today is a super highly requested video and I'm so excited to do it for you now at this moment in time because if you ask me as an astrologer, as an intuitive, I have pulled the charts and I've seen that honestly this week is one of the best times, prime times, right before Mercury goes retrograde for us to do what I'm about to talk about today, which is working with the subconscious mind and dream work and prophetic dreams. However, this is not the first time that you guys have heard me mention this or talk about this, especially if you're part of my hashtag Bahati Vibe Tribe, because I this is actually one of my top five favorite ways of working magic or working with my intuition. And I've mentioned it a few times on my Instagram and you guys were like, Jess, tell me, tell me how to do this, tell me how to do this. Now, one of the reasons why dream work and prophetic dreams is one of my favorite ways to work with the subconscious mind is because it is so easy, it is so effortless, but it doesn't take away from how powerful it is, truly. Why is it so easy? Well, because in order for you to work your magic, you literally have to do nothing but take a nap or sleep. You could take a 20 minute power nap or you could sleep throughout the night. And I highly recommend sleeping throughout the night or during the day, whatever it is that you prefer to do, because the more time that you spend allowing your subconscious to roam, to jump, to play, the more messages you are bound to receive. Now, what is dream work? What is working with the subconscious mind, especially when it comes to um, receiving these psychic messages, receiving these hints, these signs, these signals through through a resting brain. Well, essentially that's exactly what it is. It's setting the intention that while you are sleeping, while you are resting, that you are going to allow the subconscious to surface as it will, to do what it will, to give you guidance, clarity, messages, or even prophecies of what's to come into your life. Now, I have done this successfully many, 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 many times. And not only do I do this before I go to bed, not every single night, but I will do this during my meditation, but a deeper meditation than just a regular 20 minute meditation. So this would be a meditation that I would do anywhere between an hour and an hour and 30 minutes to almost two hours. It's like legit phones are off, you know, me totally disconnecting from the world and diving into the subconscious mind. Now, why would I want to do this and why would you want to do this? Well, because the subconscious mind has a lot of hidden truths that are hidden from your perception in a lot of ways. This is when we can see, we can see signs of this when we are dreaming regularly, where we feel like we have control over our lives or we feel like everything is fine, but for some reason at night when we go to bed, we're having these nightmares or these dreams of people chasing us or us flying or dreams that you actually could gr um, receive a solution to the problem or these dreams that are so vivid and so clear that they show you you know, a, um, a message being received from someone else, someone that you love, someone that you're connected to, someone that you're going to meet, or something that's going to ultimately end up happening. So that's what makes these dreams so special. That's what makes these psychic messages while you are sleeping so special. Why does this work? Why is this so successful? Because our brains usually, as human being, as human beings, are so wired in a lot of ways for survival. So our brains want to find what is realistic and what is practical. But just because that is what we understand doesn't mean that that is all of our experience here on Earth. Because there are definitely vibrations. There, there is definitely a reason why the divine, God, or we were created with in intuition. So what happens for a lot of people is sometimes our intuition is, you know, dims down over time because we are in our day-to-day -day life in survival, we are using our realistic minds, our our practical brains to do all of the work that we don't strengthen that intuitive muscle. Well, that intuitive muscle is still there, but for many people it's weak. Doing subconscious and psychic message, um, you know, dream work like this is going to help to strengthen that intuitive mus muscle. And also it's so easy and effortless because all you need to do again is sleep and then remember to write down your dreams the next morning. So um, while you are sleeping, why this is so powerful is because a lot of the things that we that is hidden from us or that you are not aware of, those vibrations, the subconscious, 
all of those things lie dormant within you. So when your dreams start to come through and you set the intention, and I'll show you how to do that in the second portion of this video, but when, you're, when you allow yourself or you allow the subconscious brain or the subconscious side of yourself or the intuitive side of yourself to uncover itself or you allow yourself to be open to receive psychic messages, you will receive them, honestly, while you are sleeping. Why is this? Because your brain, the realistic, practical side of your brain is not fighting the intuitive muscle that is given a chance to exercise and to show you what it can actually do, show you that you actually have that strength and that gift within you. If you are watching this video, I can guarantee you that you did not cross paths with this video um, accidental, accidentally. It's not a coincidence. You may have actually seen my face before. I've approached many people in their dreams not knowing that they didn't know that I exist and then they see me, my face resonates, my message resonates and they're like, holy crap, you came to me in a dream, my subconscious, and I knew that you were the one to deliver these messages to me. I knew that there was a connection here. I knew that I wanted to be a part of this, whatever this is. And they just keep diving, 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 and they discover a lot. So these are some ways, just a really small example of what I've you know, experienced in the past, how this, how this has worked, how it can work. For some of you guys, you can actually set intention for um, a solution. For example, for a minute, I was having issues when it came to orders within my apothecary. We were, well, I was, you know, making numbers and it would sell out immediately when I would have like a love spell, a money spell, or a custom oil, it would sell out immediately. And I didn't want to compromise quality for quantity and I didn't, but I was really having a hard time getting the shipping out faster for you guys and people were complaining about it and I totally understand why. But it was through my dreams, through this method that I'm sharing with you guys today that I was like, instead of me, you know, working, relying on just myself, I'm going to work with my spirit, my guides to give me a solution to this problem while I'm sleeping because I needed to rest anyways. So that was how I came up with the solution to the problem at that time. You can use this for or this dream work or receiving psychic messages or guidance through your dreams, you can do the same thing that I have done, just set intention for solutions to come. Maybe I've in the past, I've used it to see partners that I was going to end up linking with or get a, a prophecy. Despite my religion, despite anybody's religion, anybody can do this. But you can receive a prophecy as far as what your life is going to look like. If you want to hear from your angels, your guides, from God, the divine, whoever, you can set the intention for that to come to you while you are dreaming through your dream work, through the subconscious mind, okay? So the first thing that I will say for how to set intention and how to do dream work is you want to make sure that before you rest and before you go to bed, whether it's an, uh, a power nap, like so anything under 20 minutes, which I don't recommend, but sometimes it helps, I've done it before, or actual night rest. Now for me personally, I'm serious about my dream work, so I will take and dedicate an entire night, night's rest to prophetic dreams. And I will say that I get really good sleep, but sometimes I am a little groggy in the morning, but in order for me to do that, I ground myself, I disconnect, and I do something in order to reconnect back in with my body. Maybe I exercise, maybe I go for a walk, or whatever the case is. So you guys might experience that as well. But it doesn't, as active as my work is, my dream work is over the night, for the most part I'm not exhausted when I wake up the next morning. I don't, I don't hear of a lot of people that experience it, but I, I can imagine that there's some that will. Um, especially if you're astral traveling, that it can be really exhausting and that's not something that I do on the regular anymore because I've had really interesting experiences with that. So, um, how you want to prepare for your dream work to receive psychic messages is you want to make sure that you are fully relaxed before you go to bed. This means that you have cleared your calendar for the night, you've cleared your schedule for the night, that you are not going to be interrupted, that you are clean, that your bed is clean, or wherever it is that you're going to be sleeping is clean and free of anything that is going to restrict you or bind you in any way. You would be surprised how 
aware the subconscious mind is of your environment at all times. So let's say if you have a bunch of laundry sitting at the edge of your bed, and I can guarantee you some of you guys have laundry sitting at the edge of your bed, don't you? Don't you? Or if you put your purse or your book bag on the edge of your bed, it cannot be there. Your bed needs to be fully clean and clear of anything because your subconscious will pick up on it and it will become heavy to your energy and your presence and your aura. Trust me on that. I feel like that's something that a lot of people aren't talking about, but it is the truth. Make sure that your bed and your clear, your space is completely cleared and fingers crossed your sheets are as clean as possible. As a Virgo, I wash my sheets like every week. So um, some of you guys do that more than me, but that's usually what I do and I bleach the crap out of them. But that's because I love the smell of bleach and I love, you know, my sheets being clean and my bed is my sacred space, one of my sacred spaces. So my sheets stay clean. Uh. But um, yeah, so you want to make sure that you have on comfortable clothes, that you are comfy, that your mind space is as relaxed as possible because if it isn't, you that is a part of what you're going to see within your subconscious mind because your angels and your guides and your subconscious is going to signal to you that you are in a state of chaos tension, discord. So even if you're trying to pull out psychic messages or trying to receive a prophetic message, your subconscious can, can sense that you are tense. So you want to make sure that you're as relaxed as possible when it comes to receiving psychic messages or prophecies because if it's distracting by, distracted by anything else that's bothering you, then that's what you're going to receive while you are sleeping because that's what the subconscious is currently focused on at that time. And we don't give our subconscious, again, like I said, enough credit for picking up on what is going on. Wow, okay guys, I'm a little distracted right now because my rabbit got into the sweet grass braid. Even though she has a full arugula salad and she is just swinging the arugula, the sweet grass braid left and right. She's underneath my altar and you gotta keep an eye on them sometimes. So if you guys see me looking over in the corner, it's because I'm monitoring and make sure that she's not eating that because I'm not sure that that's good for her. Anyways, okay, so the, that's the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you are relaxed. The second thing that you wanna do, this is kind of, um, an additional, if you want to do this, you can. If you don't want to, that's fine. Um, you can drink a mugwort tea, which is not this the tastiest tea. You don't want to put any sugar in it. You don't want to put any honey in it. I know that some people do want to sweeten the tea. Don't do it. Don't do it. Trust me as a witch. Um, follow your own intuition, of course. If you decide to drink the tea, then that's, that is what it is. But mugwort is an herb that is just so amazing when it comes to working with the with your psychic powers, with developing your psychic powers, with your third eye vision, when it comes to meditation, when it comes to um, meditation, when it comes to seeing the other side. Um, and it's also, not only does it have that benefit, but it also is amazing when it comes to dream work as a whole and working with dreams and working with sleep. So one thing that I like to do is I use herbs from my apothecary, which are literally the best on the internet. Fight me on that, like literally there's no test. But yeah, um, I use mugwort from my apothecary. I, I will make a, a blend of mugwort, chamomile, and jasmine tea. And I will steep it really quickly, just like a light steep, and then I will sip it. I usually don't drink the full cup of tea, but when I drink the cup of tea, and when you drink the cup of tea, make sure that you drink it right while you are in bed. Um, you don't want to drink it and then do laundry. You don't want to drink it and check your laptop. You literally are setting the intention that this moment this time is for dream work so when you start getting sleepy because it will make you sleepy and make it will help to relax you you um want to be in bed and you want to allow yourself to drift off as you feel yourself drifting off you want to set the intention for um protection around you you want to ask your angels your guides or whoever you want to work with to um to give you messages to, or whatever it is that you want to receive, whatever the purpose, the intent is behind you doing this work. So let's say you want to receive a solution to a problem. Let's see, say you want to see your soulmate's face or your twin flame, twin flame's face, or see who they are, or where are you going to move, or what do you, what's something that you're going to see in the future. That one's one of my favorite things is to ask. Okay, show me something that I'm going to see in the future. And I, for example, one time I saw a dollar bill, and I was like, oh, this means I'm about to get money. Like I was really. This is before Bahati Life took off. So. I saw a dollar bill and I saw it on concrete, a concrete background. So I was like, oh, money's about to come in. And I was going to my full-time job at the time. This was years ago. And I looked down the next day. I was, I woke up. I was so excited because I was like, I'm, this was a symbol. 
even though I didn't have that intuitive sense that it was a symbol, I just knew that it was realistic, but my, my brain was idealistic and was like, oh, I'm gonna be rich, I'm gonna be all these things, right? So that next day, I'm like, walk at work, I'm <laughs> just like, my life was about to take off, which it was, but that wasn't the point of that dream. And I literally looked down and there was a dollar bill and it was on the concrete and I was like, oh, that was my dream. Like, and, cause it was splitting image and there were multiple things. One time I saw um, a pig and I was a pink pig and I'm like, wow, that doesn't look like a real pig. It looks like a pink pig. And my mom that came to me in my dream, I set the intention before I had my prof prophetic, you know, dream moment. And my mom the next day gave me um, a, a pink pig that you suction cup onto the back of your phone and it works as a stand. And I was like, oh, that was my dream. So it's like, I, I will set the intention. I'll do these like small exercises. And I just keep building them up and over and over and over into these bigger, bigger prophecies. And that's how I know what's gonna happen. A lot of times what's gonna happen in my life. That's how I work for you guys to, you know, pull messages and pull the charts for you because I do my work the night before. And then I wake up and go immediately into my meditation. I just kind of channel all of those things. That's the first thing that I do. So yeah, I mean, I've been strengthening this every, for, for years. So this is something that comes easy and effortless to me. So I really highly recommend doing those small exercises of just show me a vision, show me what I need to see, what I'm going to see, because you're, it's going to confirm you, it's gonna make you confident, it's gonna make you excited. Um, but just don't you know, expect too much from it. Pardon the planes flying over, I'm in New Orleans, and there is a, like a airplane base nearby, I, I've heard, which makes sense, because I keep flying over. One other way that you can work with um, psychic messages in the subconscious is to actually, if you don't want to drink the tea, which you don't have to, some of you guys are not comfortable with ingesting tea like that, I totally understand, is to take those herbs and turn them into a dream pillow or a mojo bag, which I have available in my shop. Not the dream pillows, but the mojo bags. You can make a dream pillow all by yourself, and I highly recommend it. That's why I don't offer it, because I'm like, you guys can do this but just take the same amount of herbs. What I have in my mojo bag is different than what I'm talking about here now today with the chamomile, the jasmine, and the mugwort because I have personal special ingredients that I put in there to help my clients as well as what I use in my sleep prophetic oil which I'll talk about in just a second. But, um, and that's something, a recipe that I'm not sharing with anybody. I'm not sharing that for my love spell, my money spell, any of the oils the intention oils that are available in my shop. I am no longer sharing the recipes for those. So don't ask me. I'm just kidding. No, seriously though, don't ask me. I'm not gonna tell you. Um, and just respect the fact that I am protecting my personal blends and uh, yeah. So, but you can do, I can uh, of course recommend herbs, which I'm saying right now is chamomile, jasmine, and mugwort, which work for the majority of us when it comes to these things. But of course, if you wanna work with me, I do a little bit more, because as a Virgo, we always go above and beyond, and we're that perfectionist, and I've been you know, working my magic for quite some time, so I know what I'm doing, and I have, my success rate is literally at 110%. So, there's that. Now, the other thing that you can do, oh, what is a dream pillow? Pretty much it's using those same herbs, putting them in a sachet, or if you put it in a sachet, it's gonna turn into a mojo bag. If you sew a pillow, then it's going to be a pillow, but you fill them up and then with those herbs, and you put it under your pillow or rest your head on it, or you can sprinkle the herbs in your pillow. I don't recommend that because number one, it can get messy, but number two, when you decide that you're done doing dream work, you can't really turn that off because the herbs kind of stay in there or the energy of that kind of stays in there. So I would make it in a separate pillow, but some of you guys love to do dream work every night and I totally understand that. But just FYI, I've done it before in the past and I kept shooting out into the cosmos every time I would go to bed and I'm like, yo, this is too much, it's too much. There needs to be balance with everything. So just word from the wise, my tip to, from me to you. Okay, the other thing that I recommend, that I highly recommend, is to work with an oil. Now you guys know, or if you don't know, it's because you're brand new to my channel, and if that's the case, welcome, welcome to the family. But for those of you guys that don't know, or I love to work with intention oils. They are so freaking powerful, oh my gosh. But one of my favorite that I use for dream work is actually called Prophetic Dreams Intention Oil. It's available in my shop and I'll link it down below. But it consists of the same blend that I was talking about before that I'm not gonna share. 
but pretty much what you want to do is to anoint your third eye right here or to massage your crown chakra which is my favorite oh my god just massage your crown chakra with those oils and rub them in be right back while I just drift off into bliss right now because this is really good. But yeah, you want to rub it into your crown chakra to activate that because that's literally where these messages are going to be downloading into is through your crown chakra and you're going to see it through your third eye. And the oils that I use are going to help you with that. The herbs blend that I use will help you with that. Okay, the next thing that you wanna do is go to bed, go to sleep, that was easy, right? After that, you want to write them down when you wake up, as soon as you wake up. Some of you guys will wake up at three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, and you will have a dream right after that. Write that dream down immediately. It doesn't matter how ridiculous it seems, it doesn't matter how ridiculous it sounds, write that dream down in full detail, including what, it, what you felt, what you heard, what you tasted, what you physically felt, but it also emotionally, what emotions were triggered. That's one thing that it, that is not talked about enough when it comes to dream work interpretation is your feelings. It's not so much the signs and the signals, although that's 50% of the process. The other side is how did it make you feel? Why were you feeling this way? Did you feel like you were under attack? Did you feel at peace? Did you feel in control? Those are some really powerful significators and signals and symbols that you need to pay attention to because that's showing you you know what your subconscious is trying to tell you now again that's if you are working to receive a prophecy um but for some of you guys you are going to want to just understand you know a problem or maybe you want to see someone's face write down those details sometimes if it's a person um in your subconscious or your angels and your guides is trying to protect you from seeing everything they'll show you bits of them so maybe it'll be what that person does for work maybe it'll be their shoes or a chunk of their cheekbone or whatever so you can just continue you know to see them in that way so that's a big thing about um dream work is to write it down if you don't write your dreams down i guarantee you they will stop coming in as bright and as vivid as they as they could be i promise you i promise you because your, your subconscious understands that it's not important to you because there's other things that are important. So your subconscious mind will give up on you because you you've honestly have given up on it. Write your dreams down in full detail. Take time with them, talk them out, put a recorder out. I've noticed in my own spiritual work and my own psychic work that the more that I talk, whether it be to my phone or to a camera, the more I will receive downloaded from that message. It's always been my way. And I've said this multiple times on my Instagram and on my YouTube channel. It works every single time and it's just because you would be surprised like a, a second of information could be a 30 minute conversation and 30 minute message from a second of you receiving that prophetic message it happens to me all the time so write them down um and the next thing that i will recommend but i really don't highly request it like not highly request it but you could do without it same thing like with the dream tea is to work with crystals ah look at that um, at my desk is a spirit quartz and by my bed is a chunk cluster of spirit quartz. So I will, I keep them there for a reason. I do a lot of my readings here at my desk and I do a lot of dream work in my bed. So that's why I keep them. But spirit quartz is one of my favorite quartz to work with as well as a regular crystal or a selenite wand to put underneath my bed while I want to enhance the energy of my dreams, my intuitive messages. But again, these are just tools, the real, the real power comes from me comes from the divine so i'm just allowing that energy to flow all right you guys thank you so much for watching if you have any questions when it comes to this please let me know down in the comments yes i respond to most of all of them honestly i've been pretty good at it lately um and then also i would like to hear your own experiences when it comes to dream work and working with the subconscious and psychic messages that you've received okay so let me down, know down in the comments make sure that you are subscribed to this youtube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and i'll see you in my next one bye hey guys it's me again just from bahati life Really quickly, I just wanted to invite you to follow me on my Instagram at Bahati Life, or you can check out my personal Instagram, Jessica X Alexandria. For those of you guys that were concerned about browsing the apothecary, creating a custom oil, even booking a reading with me, you can do that at BahatiLife.com. So I'll link all of those details down in the description box for you to make it easy. In the meantime, though, I really do want to invite you to subscribe and to turn on notifications. 
to the YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, so that you can be a part of my Bahati Vibe Tribe because I post weekly astrology and intuitive messages all the time. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!